I grew up in the grocery business. I was running a cash register, standing on a Borden's milk crate when I was six years old with a hand crank on a register. I could do the taxes, count your money back. Of course, they don't teach that in school no more. I uh, worked in the family grocery store until I was 45 years old. I started doing deer meat at night, processing the deer. It grew to a point that uh, it interfered with my work at the grocery store, so. Because I wanted to hire people full time, so I added 1,500 feet of sporting goods. I think in the day, uh, old man tree stands, mossy oak clothing, lacrosse boots, and tinks. That was four of the things that I couldn't keep on the shelf. And uh, realized real quick that this, uh, we're gonna have to expand so the next year we expanded and added 3,000 feet. And then a few years later, we added 15,000 more. Everything is grown. We do about 25,000 deer a year processing. And we're currently built a new processing facility that's 9,500 square feet. And we're gonna add about 7,500 more feet to our sales area. So I have been blessed and uh, most of my people that work for me, we don't have turnover. I pay them a living wage. I have multiple people that's been with me 15 to 25 years. I guess that's just about the end of my story. This is a 586. That's the size of the first gun revolver I ever bought, except mine was nickel. I would uh, describe my relationship with Walter as a growing relationship. Walter has um, upped their game on their handguns. Uh, one thing in particular that my customers really like are the triggers, especially in that um, PPQ. And the new gun coming out directed toward women, I think, is, uh, is really great because you know, used to women were not a big part of our um, sales. You know, women just didn't buy a lot of guns, but now it is extremely important. It wouldn't surprise me if 35% of handgun sales are women now. During the pandemic, we sold these things like crazy online. And they were bringing over a thousand dollars above retail. They bid on them. They were bringing all of them brought thir over thirty something hundred bucks. You see, Reverend Price. I've always had an interest and intrigue with guns, and that's what drove me to uh, to get into this business. Plus, we didn't have a lot of places to go, not here in Rankin County. So um, I have to say I got lucky, it worked out. <laughs>